show you how I made three adorable kid aprons from four tea towels. This is a great project to bring your kids on in, teach them a little bit of ironing, a little bit of sewing. There's very little sewing in this project, so it's perfect for the beginning sewer. I've got three little helpers in my house who love to get their hands into whatever mama is cooking in the kitchen. They have been begging me for some aprons of their own, especially when they saw the cute apron I made a few weeks ago from a couple tea towels. So I got to thinking I could make some quick and simple aprons for the kids from tea towels. These tea towels came in a pack of four. I found them on Amazon and I'll put the link down below so you can find these exact ones. There's so many cute different combinations of four. For this project, you'll need four cute tea towels, one fourth an inch elastic band, white or coordinating thread, a sewing machine and fabric scissors. And lots of patience if you're teaching your kids how to iron or sew. This really is so easy. You can make these aprons as simple or as custom as you would like. Three of the tea towels will be used to make the three aprons. The fourth tea towel will be used to make the pockets and the ties if you want. I chose to use elastic for the necktie. The elastic makes the apron comfortable for the kids and gives them some wiggle room. The process starts by folding the two corners on the short side of the tea towel down and cutting the excess off. This gives the tea towel an apron shape. After you've cut the corners off, take it to the ironing board and iron down that one inch seam half an inch over until the raw edge is folded under. Then you're going to attach the elastic band to the top of your fold and sew it together. If you're making an apron for a small child, you may need to cut some fabric off the bottom of the apron. Just sew a new seam there. You could use the extra scraps for extra creativity. To make the waist ties, you can use any extra straps of fabric that you may have or you can use the elastic to make the ties. This is the easiest and fastest method that I found. There are a couple ways that you really could make straps. I know that you can start by turning the fabric inside out and sewing that and flipping it back right side out. I really don't like that process. So I just fold the seams down under and then fold them over again so there's no raw edges showing and I just sew down that folded line. This project leaves plenty of room for creativity. You can go wild designing your own apron here. We had some fun with the pink apron with this cute bunny. We made it a large pocket. We also made some different little pockets on here with the scraps um, from the corners that we cut off. So here's a great example of just having fun, design an apron, make it unique. I love this part about using tea towels because you really could cut off any shapes, characters, or flowers off of a tea towel and you could sew those on there. You could stitch on some buttons, whatever you put your mind to. This could be totally fun. If simplicity is your game, then pay attention. These other aprons were much more simple, super quick to put together. For making three of these, you really could just cut the fourth tea towel in two thirds and use those thirds as a large pocket. So that's what I'm doing here for the second aprons, cutting that last bit of the fourth tea towel in half and using those for the pockets.
then sew a seam around the raw edges of the pocket and put it in place where you want it to go. From this point, we are going to get your tie and tuck it in between the pocket and the apron so that it gets sewed in when we sew along the edge of the apron. These finishing up pieces could be a great time to bring your kids in, give them a couple lessons on how a sewing machine works, how it feels to run some fabric through the machine and how that all goes. If you have the patience to endure teaching two little boys how to sew, then power to ya. My oldest is 10 and he was actually really into the sewing machine. He loved how it worked. My other son, <laughs> he wasn't quite as interested and that's okay. And the last thing you can do is run one or two seams through your pockets to create separate compartments. As always, thanks so much for joining me here today. It means a lot. We are not just making aprons. We're restoring family. We are teaching our children skills, teaching them how to sew and be creative and how to cook. This is a book that we're really enjoying right now, especially my oldest. He loves to bake and when he gets a sweet tooth or feels like baking, he pulls out his favorite cookbook and he goes into the kitchen and whips up something. It's great for kids. I'll put a link down below. You can find it on Amazon. Make sure to use our affiliate link down below. You can also find this apron tutorial on wyomingsage.com along with other links to all the things that I used in this video. Thanks for joining me here today. You can catch me next week for another video on restoring home, family, and spirit. I'll catch you next time. Love you lots.